to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Sure making some progress today, look at all that Today we're looking at Warlock, the Armageddon, starring Julian Sands. When he comes, all hell breaks loose. I think that sounds a little bit dirtier than they intend. This is a Vidmark Entertainment release uh, from their horror section. Directed by Anthony Hickox, who went, did other such great things like Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, Waxwork, and a couple other greats. First movie is Waxwork, Waxwork 2, Hellraiser 3, World Like the Armageddon. And it's pretty much, that's all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the sequel to the original Warlock. He's back and meaner than ever. Satan's only son, the Warlock, Julian Sands, is plotting even greater mayhem in a spine-tingling, pulse-pounding shocker. The Warlock's single goal is to free his father from the fiery chains and imprison him and unleash Satan's wrath upon the world. The only ones who can prevent complete world destruction are two warriors, Chris Young and Paula Marshall, who alone possess the supernatural powers to challenge the Warlock and stop the inevitable Armageddon. They must outsmart and defeat the Warlock before the prophecy collapse, sending Satan and his son back to hell. Okay, yeah. So... Uh, I think this is one. I don't recall where I got this one from. Maybe I think maybe a friend picked it up for me. This might be one that I got from Matt Bose, my best friend. Uh, like I said, Vidmark released. They released so many great things on VHS back in the late '80s and early '90s. I'm a big fan of Vidmark. I like, this one actually he has some um, problems with the tape there. I have not. I think maybe I watched this. Maybe I popped it in to see if there's any trailers or anything fun on it. I'm. I've watched most of the Warlock movies, but it's been so long that I don't recall. One thing I can really recall from this movie is Paula Marshall, who I really enjoy. Uh, I first noticed her on Sports Night. She She's in season two of Sports Night. She dated Jeremy. She was the, the porn star that Jeremy dated for a little bit, and he had to lie about who she was. And then, of course, she was on a couple episodes of Californication. And then we backtrack. She was in one of the Hellraisers as well. I'm trying to remember which one it was. One, not one of the good ones. Oh, well, of course it makes sense. She's in Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, which, since it's the same director, that makes total sense. I want to say Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, was the one that Anthony Hickox wanted his name removed from. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Or is it? Is it a, or is it part two that's an Alan Smithy? One of those movies is an Alan Smithy movie, isn't it? Or, or supposed to be? Anyway, Warlock, the Armageddon, second in the series. These are always fun movies. Like I said, it's just great adventure, great effects, decent writing, decent acting. Uh, obviously, the effects don't hold up to 2022 standards, but still. Anything for Vidmark has got my stamp of approval just for fun. Uh, you guys, are you a big fan of Julian Sands? you a big fan of the Warlock series? Let me know your stories below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.